Guys, this is a short video. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Get in where you fit in. If you don't find anything in this video, you know what to do. Check another video. Look in your other signs. However, this one is not about a sign. This is about spiritual warfare. Come on, guys. Let me talk to you real quick, and it's going to be fast. I'm not going to try to stay here no long time, and we're going to do another part on another piece. Now, first of all, I want to talk to you about our young people. We got young people that be dying in their sleep, and some people that's older, too. I want to let you know, some people want to go that way yes they do they want to just live here and if they die they want to die in their sleep because that way they feel like they won't know when they die however there are other people that are going away from here and they dying in their sleep and don't nobody know what happened to them and they say well the doctor said they couldn't find nothing wrong with them but they don't understand why this person gone i will tell you why spiritual warfare see sometimes that the enemy uh another spirit or entity or something will come by and they'll you know, play a little old game with them and stuff and make them think that everything is fun on the other side. I'm going to tell you, I believe that's what they call an immature spirit. Now, immature spirit looks like a young person until you look at the head. They got a body like a child, but when you look up there, they got a, they got a, they're a much older person. Okay, this is an old spirit. All right? All right? And this spirit knows how to, uh, to draw young people out. So, when you have a young person, you need to make sure that you cover that person with the precious blood you need to protect your your person your children all right you need to also let them hear this message because they need to understand anytime a, a entity or even if you're in a dream or in a vision state and they say come on let's go me you need to ask them can i come back when i want to and if they don't say nothing you don't go all right but if they say yeah you can come back when you want to that's fine and if you if you're a person that's christian all right, and they come to get you. If you want to verify whether or not they are a good a good spirit or not, or they come from a high vibe of angel, then you say the blood of Jesus. And when you say that, they're gonna repeat it back. Now, if they can't repeat it back, then you know that ain't the one. Don't go nowhere. You don't have to go nowhere. All right. And last but not least, do not, and I mean do not. Get yourself involved in drugs and stuff and end up going out somewhere and then next thing you know you have a seizure because you have a seizure, not because you have a seizure, you have a seizure because you saw something that you can't comprehend. All right. So you figure the best thing to do is to start jerking around and acting like you you spaced out and stuff, you know, to get it to leave. But the problem is that they know that ain't shit wrong with you. Okay? They know ain't nothing wrong with you. But you don't know that they don't know ain't nothing wrong with you. Next thing you know, you're on medication and stuff because you're trying to suppress it because you don't want to have to deal with what you see over there. However, that is your confirmation that you are a spiritual person and you have a divine calling on your life. And now it's time for you to learn how to live. Okay? Yeah, you need to now you need to know how to grow spiritually, so how to deal with these entities, okay? Uh, accept or embrace your spirituality. Because I ain't going to lie to you. When I was much younger, I had a whole problem with that. I ain't going to lie to you. I did not like them touching me. I did not like that. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. You know, I keep repeating that. Yeah, because I got frustrated. And then one day, and I think I was like an early teenager, I just because I had a handful of clothes. I just dropped all the clothes on the floor. I said, okay, what y'all want? What you want? After that, they stopped touching me. They said, okay, she finally accepted her spirituality. So what I'm telling you is, accept your spirituality. I mean, it ain't going to come easy if you don't have a mentor. Okay, get in a mentor and, uh, a program or find somebody that you believe that can, that can steer you in the right way. All right? Okay. Now, I'd be more than glad to help people as much as I can, but there are people that are closer to you or they may more, know more than I do. That can assist you as well. All right, guys. All right. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'll be back to do another video just for you.